I am going to try something kind of crazy. I want to fatten cattle on less than $2 per head per day and still hit solid gains. No, this is not about starving steers. This is about smarter feed efficiency, byproduct feeds, and a ration that actually works in the real world. If this fails, every pound of beef I sell loses money. Keep watching because I'm going to break down the exact feed cost, the average daily gain, and the sneaky trick feed salesmen never tell small ranchers. Let me be clear right from the start. Most cattle feeders are bleeding cash and they do not even know it. They trust the feed salesman, they buy the fancy premix, they follow the label, and then they wonder why their profit margin vanishes. Here's the truth nobody talks about. You do not need premium grain to finish cattle. You need energy, protein, minerals, and a plan. And I'm going to show you exactly how to build that plan without going broke. So where does $2 per day even come from? Let me walk you through the math, because this number is not random. It is calculated, tested, and repeatable. The average finishing steer weighs around 1,000 to 1,200 pounds when you start the fattening phase. You want them gaining between 2.5 to 3.5 pounds per day. To do that, they need roughly 2.5% of their body weight in dry matter intake. That's about 25 to 30 pounds of feed per day, depending on the animal. Now here is where it gets interesting. If you buy a commercial finishing ration, you are paying anywhere from 12 to 18 cents per pound. Do the math. At 15 cents per pound and 30 pounds per day, you are spending $4.50 per head per day. That is more than double our target. And the worst part? Half of that cost is markup, packaging, and delivery. You are paying for convenience, not performance. But what if I told you that you can build a ration yourself using local byproducts, commodity grains, and basic supplements for less than half that price? You absolutely can, and I'm about to show you how. But first, let me tell you the three biggest mistakes that kill profit in cattle feeding, because if you make even one of these, nothing else matters. Mistake number one, overfeeding protein. Protein is expensive, most feedlot rations only need around 12 to 14% crude protein during the finishing phase, yet I see producers buying 18% rations because they think more protein equals more gain. It does not. Once you exceed the animal's requirement, that extra protein just gets converted to urea and peed out. You are literally flushing money down the drain. So stop buying high-protein finisher rations unless you are feeding young, growing calves. For finishing steers, 12 to 14% is plenty. Mistake number two, ignoring feed conversion. Average daily gain is important, but it's not the whole picture. If your cattle are gaining three pounds per day, but eating 40 pounds of feed to do it, your feed conversion ratio is terrible. You want a conversion ratio of around six to one or better during finishing. That means six pounds of feed for every pound of gain. If your ratio is climbing above seven or eight to one, something is wrong. Either the ration is unbalanced, the quality is poor, or the cattle are not healthy. Track this number religiously. Mistake number three, buying ingredients you do not need. The feed industry loves to sell you things. Yeast cultures, probiotics, enzymes, flavor enhancers, the list goes on. Some of these additives work in research trials. Very few make a measurable difference on a small ranch. Save your money. Focus on energy, protein, minerals, and clean water. Those four things will get you 95% of the results. Everything else is optional. Now let me show you what a real $2 per day ration looks like. This is not theoretical. This is what I am feeding right now, and it is working. The base of the ration is corn, not whole kernel corn, but cracked or rolled corn. You want to process it just enough to improve digestibility without turning it into dust. Corn is your primary energy source. It is cheap, energy dense, and cattle love it. I am buying corn locally for about six cents per pound. At 20 pounds per head per day, that is $1.20. That is your foundation. Next, you need a protein source. 
I use dried distiller's grains, also called DDGs. This is a byproduct from ethanol production. It runs around 26 to 30% protein and 8 to 12% fat. It is energy dense, high in protein, and usually cheaper than soybean meal. I pay about 9 cents per pound. I feed 4 pounds per head per day. That adds 36 cents to the ration. Now we are at $1.56 per day and we are not done yet. You also need roughage. Cattle are ruminants. They need fiber to keep the rumen healthy. I use wheat straw or low quality grass hay. Not alfansa, not premium hay. Just cheap roughage to keep things moving. Two to three pounds per head per day is enough. At three cents per pound, that is nine cents. We are now at $1.65 per day. Next, minerals. Do not skip this. A good free choice mineral with trace elements, salt, and vitamins is essential. I spend about 10 cents per head per day on a quality loose mineral. Now we are at $1.75. Finally, a little fat or molasses to reduce dust and improve palatability. Optional, but helpful. Maybe 5 cents per head per day. Total cost? $1.80 per head per day. We just hit our target. And guess what? The cattle are gaining 3 pounds per day on this ration. That is a feed conversion of 6 to 1, which is right where we want it. But wait, before you run out and copy this ration exactly, let me tell you something critical. Every operation is different. Your corn price might be different. Your access to byproducts might be limited. Your cattle might be a different size or breed. This ration works for me because I sourced local ingredients and I adjusted it from my conditions. You need to do the same. The principle is what matters. Build your ration around cheap energy, adequate protein, basic roughage, and solid minerals. Test it, track your gains, adjust as needed. And here's the sneaky trick the feed companies do not want you to know. They make money when you buy convenience, bagged feed, pre-mixed rations delivered to your door. It is easy, yes, but you are paying for that ease. If you're willing to do a little homework, source your own ingredients, and mix your own feed, you can cut your cost in half or more. That difference is pure profit. On a pen of 20 steers over a 100-day finishing period, saving $2 per day per head adds up to $4,000. That is real money. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever calculated your actual cost per pound of gain? Most ranchers have not. They know what they spend on feed, they know what the cattle weigh at sale, but they do not connect the dots. If you are spending $3 per head per day and gaining 2.5 pounds per day, your cost per pound of gain is $1.20. Add in your purchase price, health costs, and labor, and you might be breaking even, or worse, losing money. But if you drop your feed cost to $1.80 per day and still gain 3 pounds per day, your cost per pound of gain drops to 60 cents. Now you have margin. Now you have profit. Now you can weather a bad market and still come out ahead. Let me give you one more piece of advice that will save you headaches. Start slow. Do not switch your entire pen to a new ration overnight. Cattle need time to adapt especially when you are increasing grain. Transition over seven to 10 days, gradually increasing the new feed and decreasing the old. Watch for signs of acidosis, off-feed behavior, loose manure, labored breathing. If you see any of that, back off the grain and add more roughage. A dead steer costs a lot more than $2 per day. And do not forget water. Clean, fresh water is as important as the feed itself. A finishing steer can drink 10 to 15 gallons per day, especially in hot weather. If they aren't drinking, they aren't eating. If they aren't eating, they aren't gaining. Check your water sources daily. Here's what I want you to take away from this. Feeding cattle profitably is not about spending more. It is about spending smarter. It is about understanding what the animal actually needs, sourcing ingredients locally, and refusing to pay for things that do not add value. The $2 per day target is not a gimmick, it is a goal, and it is absolutely achievable if you are willing to think like a business owner, not just a cattle feeder. If you found this helpful, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and join the biggest bulls and cow community. Drop a comment below and tell me what your biggest challenge is with feed costs. Are you mixing your own rations or are you buying bagged feed? What is your cost per head per day? Let's learn from each other. 
And if you know another rancher who is struggling with feed costs, share this video. We rise together. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.